welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica and today's video is our August Amazon haul. So today is the day when I share with you guys everything we purchased in the month of August. Let's get started with books. So the first book series that I grabbed were these Rescue Princess books. There are, I have no clue how many in the series. I bought the first nine because there was like a package deal. Um, and I thought they were adorable because they are princesses and animals. And one of the princesses, I think it's this little redheaded one, is actually named Emily. So they were like perfect for Emily. So these will be independent reads for her. Next up, we have Greta Eskridge's new book, Adventuring Together. You guys, I pre-ordered this. I was so excited for it because I love Greta. Spoiler alert, I've already read it, and if you are a mama who wants to adventure together with your family and make family memories, I highly recommend grabbing this because it is amazing. I also picked up the Kingdom Keepers books 1, 2, and 3. We are really missing Disney, like really missing Disney. So I don't know if we're going to be doing these as real outs yet. I'm going to read the first one and see what I think, see if I think they're too advanced for Emily or too dark for her. But if they're not, we're definitely going to be reading these aloud, and I'm really excited about it. The other book that I pre-ordered for myself this month is Awakening Wonder by Sally Clarkson. I have not had the chance to rip into this one yet, although I will soon. But if it is anything like Sally's other books, I know it is going to be amazing. In the last book I picked up in the month of August was the Home Learning Year by Year. This is the new updated and revised version. Actually, one of you guys let me know that there was a new updated and revised version, which I, of course, immediately added to cart because this is a book that I love. I plan with it every year. It is hands down one of my homeschool favorites. If you want to see more about how I use it for planning, you can do that right here. Now, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but in August, there was a deal of the day that was on games and certain games were 40% off. So all of the games that I have purchased for the most part were part of that deal. So the first one we have is Word Waffle. This is a vocabulary game by Edupress. They actually have different grade levels. So this specific one is grade three. Mystic Market. Emotep Duel. You know, you guys know I'm always looking for great two-player games. Me and Emily often play games by ourselves. So when I saw that Emotep Duel was on the like sale, it is the first one I added to cart. I love two-player games that still give us that great game quality. This is Dungeon Drop. I have no idea anything about it. I just looked at it and it looked really, really fun and like something that our family would really enjoy. So I grabbed this for us to play. And then the last game I got was this Rock Me Archimedes. So it kind of looks to me like a kilter, mancala type thing. And we love those like critical thinking two player games. So I thought me and Emily would really, really like this. I also grabbed these learning resource angle legs. These are actually really, really cool. Emily's already dug into them and then using them and she really enjoys them. They come with like this protractor type thing and then all of these little leg pieces that you can build different angles with. And in the learning resource fashion, they come with activity cards as well. So Emily has already been looking forward to Christmas and talking about what she wanted to like make because we make gifts for, or she makes gifts for families and friends. And she mentioned that she wanted to make like bath bombs and bath salts and um, soaps and stuff. So I grabbed her this Thames and Cosmos cosmetic kit that does soaps, bath bombs, salt scrubs, and more so that she can just kind of get a little bit of an idea of what it's like if she enjoys it and if it really is something that she wants to make on a larger scale for gifts. If you follow me on social media, you probably saw that over the past week, we ventured down to Clearwater to the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Don't worry, a video about that is coming soon. But to prepare Emily for the trip and kind of let her know that we were heading there and to surprise her and to give her a little bit of education beforehand, I picked up the Winter's Tale book, which is the true story of Winter's Tale. Um, she is the dolphin from the movie Dolphin Tale. And then the book Hope for Winter, which is the Dolphin Tale 2 Dolphin. And again, this is the true story. And I also got her the 4D vision model um, of the Dolphin Anatomy. We love these. I know they have mixed reviews. If you look at them on Amazon, Emily is eight. She's been doing them since she was seven. She loves them. Um, there's been like one time that she got frustrated and I had to help her. But other than that, she does them completely independently. 
This is actually on Amazon. They were surprisingly a pack of three, which was perfect for us. Um, I bought two packs just in case we lost one. That they are like really, really thick, soft cloth so that they're comfortable to wear on your face, um, adjustable around your ears. And then, like I said, it has that um, piece up here at the nose that like, you know, secures it so that you don't get that fog in your glasses or at least not as much fog in your glasses. I also purchased myself a set of two, you guys, the other one's already at my computer, um, blue light glasses. So my prescription glasses when I purchased them does not have blue light on them. And so as much work as I was doing on the computer and on screens, it was really starting to bother my eyes. So I just purchased a set of two blue light glasses because luckily my prescription and my vision is actually for far away so I can see at the computer pretty well um like right now I just can't see like you know the camera screen over there if I didn't have my glasses on so this was like if you have kids or you yourself are doing a ton of work on screens I highly recommend them I've noticed that my eyes have gotten a lot less tired um than when I was wearing even just my prescription glasses that don't have that blue light block the next three things I have to show you are technically homeschool, but they were purchased for our first day of homeschool. So I had to wait until Emily was like in another room so she couldn't hear me. So we have always done a first day of school gift for her. And so this will be her first day of school gift from us. She will get this Harry Potter game called Spellcasters Game. I thought it was super cute. It just has like these little spell cards and you use the wand to try to like draw the spell action in the air. And then the other players have to guess what spell it is. So it was just kind of like charades Harry Potter style. So if you have not um, heard what my plan is for the next few years to slow the books down a little bit, we are going to do one book and um, one unit from Wallet Wizards and Wands to start our school year every year to kind of kick it off. So this year we are starting, well, we're kind of restarting. The book that we stopped with when COVID hit was Prisoner of Azkaban. So we're going to pick that back up and kind of back up and start it over. Since we're doing Prisoner of Azkaban, I went ahead and got her the Lego Night Bus as well as the Expecto Patronum Lego. So these both kind of go with that movie slash book. And I thought it would be really fun for her to be able to build these while I was reading aloud. Um, and then have them to add to her set. And since there are some for each book, we'll probably get her the remaining Legos as we do each book in future years. All right, you guys, the very last thing I have, you probably already saw over in the community tab, and it is my brand new camera. I can't show you anything other than the box because I'm actually filming on it right now and I'm experimenting. So please be patient with me as my videos are coming out over the next few weeks as I learn and tweak new things. But I did get the Canon 90D. Um, it is kind of like the perfect photography camera and video camera, at least I'm hoping so. So this was my big purchase for the month of August. All right, you guys, that's it for the August Amazon haul. Let me know in the comments down below what your biggest, most frivolous, or most interesting purchase was from Amazon in the month of August.